Hi, my name is David Risley with PC Mechanic at PCMech.com and I'm doing a quick little video for you today basically to show you a, one of your alternatives if you want a really big screen for your computer. The other day I went out and picked up a, uh, a Vizio uh, 32 inch flat screen LCD television and you're looking at it right here. I've got a uh, aquarium screensaver going on right now in the background. This is basically just uh, something that I've got going on while I work. My main computer is actually sitting over there right behind the camera. This is my second computer. But I went ahead and picked up this uh, TV for a variety of reasons. One, obviously to watch television here in the office, but also because it does have a VGA in uh, and I can plug it directly into my computer. So let me go ahead and show you my mouse. And we are now sitting inside of Windows, just like any other uh, computer. You can see a uh, window moving around behind me there. If we go over to the open up Firefox, let's go to PC Mac here just to demonstrate. There's PCMech.com itself right behind me. So I've got, um, you know, it's a big monitor. Now the only thing, the only difference is that you want to keep in mind if you want to do this is uh, that you cannot get the same screen resolution with a television as you can with a actual computer monitor. Now let me look at this. Uh, right click on properties, settings, okay this monitor right now is set at 1366 by 768 resolution that is the native resolution for this particular LCD uh, television and I cannot get it any greater than that obviously like any monitor I can go less but I wouldn't want that because everything just gets bigger than it already is and quite frankly things are already quite large on this monitor I mean I'm looking at one of my icons on the Windows desktop and it's probably a, a, an inch and a half high each icon so it, it's pretty big so obviously if you want to get a, 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 an actual computer monitor this big I don't know right now if you can actually get a 32 inch bonafide computer monitor I think you can probably get up to 30 inch without too much hassle however you're going to be spending a lot more uh, than I pay for this television uh, this weekend I purchased this over at Sam's Club for $597 uh, by the time you watch this video, it might be a little bit less than that. However, I don't know what the prices are in the 30-inch computer monitors, such as the Dell UltraSharp, but it's probably quite a bit higher, probably over a thousand, but I'm just guessing. Uh, the difference is that, the, that those actual computer monitors have a much higher native resolution. With this, I can't get that same resolution. However, I paid significantly less money for this, and again, I didn't buy it in order to be a computer monitor because that would be kind of stupid but I bought it because I wanted to be able to use it for television as well as the uh, computer monitor so if you're interested in doing that I would recommend definitely getting uh, a 32 inch you can also get 26 inches you can also hook up your computer to even something as large as a 50 or a 60 inch television as long as that television has a VGA in signal and has a way of connecting to your computer if you have that you can connect your computer and do everything that you would normally do with your computer with a large television like this uh, so it is a way to do it, it's a kind of a poor man's way of getting a really big monitor on your computer uh, and as long as you know the limitations you might you might enjoy it. To me it's pretty cool you know if I, I do my video stuff on this computer and it's nice to be able to use such a big system here and, uh, and, and see what I'm doing rather than a little little 19 inch widescreen which is what I was using before so that's my video post and it's just to get you thinking so thanks for watching.